until we change what is wrong in our beliefs. Wrong things will keep happening to us against our expectations. People have paid so much money to lose weight. They've shedded pounds of weight. But they now had the body of their dreams and in no time they returned to that same obese state. Why? Because there is a program that generates obesity that they have imbibed. People are running to fortune and in no time they blow the fortune again. Why? Because there is a program that is enemy to fortune in their system that they have not been able to take care of. Some people have a sympathy engram that encourages them to be sick because they believe that when they are ill, people take care of them. They want to be taken care of. And so they don't understand why they are consistently being ill. They are not aware that there was a time in their lives when they created that thing. So remember that you were designed to transform your life. You were designed to make life respond to the passionate, truthful desires of your heart. So what are your desires today? It will come to pass. But be very careful and be sure that those desires are positive in all their forms. Hello, powerful one. Welcome to this much belated edition of Final Growth It Says Why Enemy Hey. <laughs> How has it been with you? Well, I'm sure you've been having a swell time. You've been swinging from beauty to beauty, from joy to joy, from fun to fun. I know you have been experiencing hard times and you are crunching them as you go. Challenges have been coming to you, but they have not been able to weigh you down because you were built to handle and solve challenges. Isn't that the purpose of your life? To actually solve problems. This problem solving could be for yourself, or for others or for the community in which you live but one thing i know about you is that you have all it takes to solve any problem at all that confronts you so why haven't i been speaking with you why haven't i been here all of these weeks well it was because i have been profitably engaged handling something that might be useful to you you see I have been profitably, sweetly, happily working on a channel, the content of which is less serious than this. Actually, it is a 100% entertainment channel and it is titled Dami. I have been profitably engaged working on pre-production meetings, actual shoots, and now we're moving on to the phase called post-production. And you are going to receive nuggets of that content every week. I'm going to make it very small, like five to eight minutes of the content for you on YouTube. And other social media handles can also have them in smaller bits, okay? And then you can have something to hold on to, to enjoy, to laugh from, to be excited about on that channel every week, henceforth. And you can always come back and watch what you you watched before. The channel will be loaded with the actual content itself and of course the makings and other things. Yes, that is what I've been doing and it wasn't because I didn't find our union a beautiful one. I love talking to you. I love hearing your comments. I love seeing your likes. Doesn't matter what comments you're sending there as long as you're saying something about what we are doing on this channel it's just okay by me. And you who are a first-time viewer of this channel, I thank you. Welcome to the Inner Growth community. I appreciate your being here. And those of you who have been consistent watching this video day in, day out, oh goodness, you have no idea of how much I appreciate you. Thank you, because you are the one keeping me doing this video. Thank you. And of course, all of you who are my subscribers, oh goodness, thank you you know we made it to the youtube partner program that we now are at least 1000 subscribers that is just a milestone for which i am grateful to you and you can still do more for us by commenting regularly and also sharing these videos because these actions will promote this channel further 
now if you love what we are doing please comment always please share these videos and please please and please like us because it is good to like what you like <laughs> you get it now you might say why did i say i have been profitably engaged elsewhere but i wasn't here well this is very simple in this community of ours the community of inner growth we are always always upbeat it really doesn't matter how the environment swings and swells that is for the environment because to us what is inside is above all that is outside therefore come rain or shine we are ever progressive we are ever positive we know that all things work in our favor head or tail we win <laughs> we have never been losers we become losers the very moment we buy into the tale of losing. We become unhappy the moment we buy into the tale of unhappiness. We know what the things that make us unhappy are. Competitiveness. Dwelling on the past. Dwelling on actions that are negative. Dwelling on thoughts that are negative. Dwelling on fear. Dwelling on anxiety. Letting things that happen outside there become the dictators of our mood. These are the things that make us unhappy. And here in the inner growth community, we do not subscribe to such. It can be really extremely cold out there. Inside of us is warm with the sunshine of love. That is where we belong. Therefore, we are perpetually grateful for life. We are perpetually grateful to the source of life. Therefore, we don't have any space to grudge. We don't have any space to complain. And we don't have to explain this to anybody why we are who we are. Because nobody will ever understand it. You see, somebody called me this afternoon and we spoke at length. And then she said, why didn't you ask me about how I am doing? I smiled and I told her, I know that you are doing exactly as you want to do. It is well with you. She said, no, what if life it's not fair to me and things are difficult. I said, no, it doesn't happen that way. Life deals with you the way you invited and conditioned life to deal with you. Everything in life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. But you see, life was programmed. That's the word. Life was programmed to respond to the demands, to the calls of every living human. It's we who determine how life becomes with us. Now, this is the logic. If things are hard for you, if you are going through tough times, it is because life is responding to your call for tough times. Nobody does anything to you. You do everything to yourself. If somebody comes to you and throws shit and throws filth at it, you, you are actually reaping the reward of the shit because you called for it at some point in the immediate or remote past. Life responds to you as you are. Yes, that does not remove from the fact that some people, by their nature, are self-programmed to throw filth at people, to dirty up people, to make life miserable for others. Of course, yes. But how were they able to find themselves in your space if you hadn't opened the doors for them? So understand one thing, my friend, whatever you are going through, take responsibility. Don't begrudge anybody. Don't blame anybody for it. Take full responsibility because life swings your way the way you want it. And I also told her, if you're doing very well right now, it's also because life is swinging your way because you made it so. Whether you are doing badly or you are doing well, life is responding to your call. Therefore, whichever way it is, Congratulations, you're doing well. If you're homeless, sleeping under the bridge, if you are unable to feed yourself or family today, if you are ill, whatever it is, if you are out of job, these things might be seen as negative, but the truth is, you created all of these. And if you are having the time of your life, you are 
enjoying things things are just happy the way you want them you are having the beautiful life of your dream well congratulations also because you created them you created this the human being is a creator of their realities that is what it is you have the power to create and you have the power to uncreate remember the cycle of action starts continue and then stop you have the power to start any life experience you have the power to continue it and you have the power to stop it it is all within your power but unfortunately we have been groomed in an environment of victimhood that we believe that people do things to us because we believe that people do things to us we have given power to people to actually step into our lives and do things and because that belief is ever running at the background of our beings, it also means that we don't have the power to change our own lives when we want to change them. Because we have taken the power of that cycle of action away from ourselves and we have thrown into the garbage beings of life. Why have we done this to ourselves? We call it the system of nurture. It is not in our nature to be victims, but we have been nurtured from childhood to be victims. They did this to me, they did that to me. As long as you complain, you will lack the power to obtain a change of that situation you complain about. As long as you accept that people can do things to you, you will consistently have that experience. That is also why people are so messianic in their thinking. They are waiting for someone to change their lives for them. They do not believe they do not even think that they have the causative power to bring about their own transformations. Because they are always looking forward to people doing things to them negatively, they acquire what they call the siege mentality. They become overly protective. And some of them acquire what you may call toxic positivity. You see? And now all of these things are what we do to take powers from our own lives. Deliberately or however it is, that's what is happening. We don't believe that we can change our situations. We believe that we have to depend on somebody or depend on certain traits and practices to bring about the change we need in our lives, however way we want it. This is one of the greatest misfortune that human beings have found themselves in. And I'm telling you, as a member of this inner growth community, nobody can do anything to you unless you allow them, empower them to. So nobody can hurt you, nobody can break your heart, nobody can impoverish you. If they do, it's because you are opening the doors to them. So remove the belief that people can do things to you. First of all, start by accepting where you are right now as your responsibility. Let your mind trust you, that you have the credibility to control it, to give it what to do. Because up until now, you have been depending on other people's minds. You have been depending on the communal mind. That is why when the community is in a state of disaster, you suffer disaster. That's why when the community is hit by drought, you yourself suffer drought. That is why when there is kidnapping in the land, you become so scared. And you might also be kidnapped. Or somebody close to you might be kidnapped. This is why when there is widespread poverty in the land, it also affects you. You see, but you don't even think for once that even in the midst of all of these difficulties happening to the land, there are people that are not being touched by them. You see yourself as a victim of your society because for you, as it is without, so it is within. That is a curse. It is a cursed state to be in. You were not meant to be so. Your life is meant to swing the way you choose. Now, again, if you are having these experiences I just spoke about, it also means that you have created them. Therefore, your life is swinging the way you have designed it to swing. What if you became a different person from today by saying, I experience life the way I have always determined it within me. I am what I am today because of my decisions. When you do that, you are taking responsibility and you are on the way to transform your life for the better because there's nothing that transforms you as much as you owning up to your power it is that power to cause change that you have within you
that creates all the things in your life. Okay, I have been very sickly. I have been obese. I have been poor. I have been in and out of job. I have been unable to conceive. I've been married for the past two, three, four, five years. I've not been able to have a baby. Many things are not just going the way I want them to go. I'm telling you right now that instead of blaming one witch in your village, instead of blaming somebody for it, instead of blaming anything around you or the economy or the situations of in, the, in Nigeria for it or in your country for it, I implore you, take it as something that you have created. You have created them in ignorance, in error. Now come back to the reality that things work the way I want them. And I have chosen now to create better. And then you ask for that help that is ever present in times of need. This is what I always tell people. Instead of saying, oh, may God help me. No. God consistently helps. The helps from God are ever present with you. The Lord God has put a law in place that everything must respond to the desire, to the passionate, sincere desire of any human being. So, I am asking you, is it not possible that you are experiencing all of these things because you have a very negative desire that you are not aware of that is running at the background of your mind at the subconscious level? You can change it. Okay? Some people are obese. Some people are skinny. Some people are fat. Some people are masculine. All of these things are conditions that are mentally instigated, that are mentally planted. The race is not for the swiftest, like they say. It is God that shows mercy. Okay, that is someone's interpretation. The mercy of God is unto all of God's creation, to unto all of God's children. And you don't become a child of God by subscribing to any religion. God is the father, the source of all. And for once in your life, accept that. You cannot be too sinful to attract the love, the protection, the beneficence of the Almighty because they are always within you. The choices you make determine how much of the experiences of life you get. These things determine the things you experience out of life. And this is your power. I want you to own this power today. Understand it clearly. That life responds to you the way you desire. So I ask you, my friend, what do you desire right now? You see, there are two levels in which our desires are communicated. There is a conscious level and there is the subconscious level. Everybody consciously wants to be happy. They want to be good looking. They want to be healthy. want to have the body of their choice. They want to have wealth. They want to be everything positive. But... The background of their mind where the immense power reside, at that point, they feel themselves as victims. That things don't always go the way they want. That they have to depend on others for their life to be good. That's why they look for messiahs to save them and take them to heaven. That's why they look for spouses. The men look for the rich women. They want to marry into a rich family so that they can enjoy wealth too. Some want to marry, that the women want to marry rich men, that they might also enjoy wealth. Some subscribe to some religions, hoping that all their material problems will be solved. It's all a system of cacophonic misunderstanding. People just don't know what it is that they carry. But I tell you, as a member of this inner growth community, that you are extremely powerful. All you need to do is to decongest the negative beliefs in your subconscious, and plant in the positive beliefs. Whatever anybody does to you, stop holding them responsible. Take the responsibility. I am not asking you not to fire anybody from a job that they're not doing well. That's not what I'm talking about. Fire them and bless them. Let them go, but don't hold them responsible. Don't hold them into your, in your mind and say they caused this to me. If a relationship that is suppressive, that is negative, that is toxic, if what you think is the best thing to do is to leave it, oh, well and good, but don't bottle that spouse, that person in your mind as the cause of your woes because it's not going to work. You are giving that person power perpetually to make you unhappy. Like I said in one of my videos or many of that videos in the past, I said, 
before you walk out of any relationship that is toxic, find out what am I doing to create this toxicity? Because nothing happens by accident. They are happening by design. Who designed it? You. Because it is happening to you. Therefore, solve that attractant or that attractor, that magnet for toxicity in a relationship. Solve that problem and see if the spouse that you are with does not change or walk away. If you run away from one toxic relationship, you will enter another one surely as long as that belief, that seed of toxicity still resides in you. Oh, has it, it been a beautiful experience again talking with you? For me, it is. I am grateful that to be back. See you again in the next video. And please remember to share, to comment, and to click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, oh goodness, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and let us swing together in bliss. You know, I'm going to leave you with this. Your life is as good as you feel life should be. So if you have a belief that life is not always beautiful, that somebody can't have it all, that you see life is a place of suffering, whatever belief you have that is negating the beauty that life is supposed to be, I counsel you to take it out. Watch my videos on affirmations and see how you can take care of these things. And please, don't go to bed on plan. Don't sleep off. And don't just wake up and jump into life. Before you go to bed, visualize your day. Correct all the errors you made. And be grateful for them. Remember all the people that have hurt you. Leave them with blessings. Alright? Bless them. And Forgive yourself for opening the doors for them to hurt you. And then, what was your life not like all of this day? And how would you have loved it to be? Visualize that sweet, loving life that you want and go to bed with it. So that when you wake up in the morning, you'll be swinging from place to place. If you're always waking up with sorrow, it is because you did not sleep with a blissful thought in your mind. Remember this, your life can never be worse than you feel. And your life can never be better than you feel. Feel beautiful and your life will be beautiful. Feel healthy and your life will be healthy. Feel rich and your life will be rich. I have experienced the largesse of life and I know that money is an energy that is a part and parcel of my existence. And if I open the doors for money, money will flow. If I shut the door, the door is shut. Don't worry. In the next video, I will talk about how we open doors to money and how we shut the doors to money. Because <laughs> this has been my greatest weakness in life. Therefore, I am in a position to say it. Okay? Now, what more can a brother say to another brother and sister? Except that you are more powerful and you know it. And your power expresses itself in your feelings. Take care of that feeling. And as for waking up, don't wake up and jump into life as it is. No. Determine how you want the day to be. And be thankful that you have made it so. Don't expect something outside of you to bless you. The idea that God is an external entity, an external power overlooking the affairs of life is an erroneous idea because you and God are interwoven. So when you say, may God bless me, you are actually thinking God is absent from you. God is perpetually blessing you because he loves you immensely. God's love for you intoxicates God. So plug into that understanding and live a life of bliss. You know, some of you might say, oh, I sin too much, therefore I don't deserve God. No, the more sinful you are, the more you need God. It's like a baby. The dirtier the baby is, the more the baby desires the mother. When the baby is extremely dirty, the first thing people remember to call is the mother. God is both your father and your mother. No matter how filthy you are, remember God and he will remember you. We don't have a God that is judgmental. Such a God does not exist. He only exists in the minds of religious people. But the true God the source of all lives, 
loves you intensely, what could you be that will make you think that God will hate you? It's not possible. And if you think you'll be living a life in which God has not remembered you, it's because you believe that God cannot remember you because you are too sinful or too lowly. Just take the challenge of remembering God at least five times every day. Remember God. Call on God with love. Don't call him to forgive you your sins. Don't call him to hurt your enemies. Just call him and say, Lord, I'm just calling to know how you're doing. Okay? Just do that. It sounds funny, right? Just try it. Lord, I just call to know how you're doing. Please remember me. Okay? <laughs> no matter how tough your condition is, say that. Lord God, what I'm going to write now may not be the best for me. I don't know anything. But you see, I know you love me. And I know you will show me how to solve this problem. Make your relationship between you and God intense, intimate, loving. When you get to that point where you remember God consistently, you are going to realize that there is no problem that will confront you that you cannot solve. Stay blessed. Be good. Be one. And do and feel good always.